How's it going guys, my name is Plixton and today we're going to continue building Moonshine Tower which we started last week and what we should have so far is if you ignore this um, front bit and the black bits what we should have is this shell at the back uh, also ignore the platform, I'll get to that later uh, so what we hope to be doing today is beginning to start to fill in the black bits and the curve that we have here so if you haven't watched part one of the video and you want to build this building please do so but what we're going to do now is go to back to the bottom and i'll run you through what you need to do so what we need is snow black wool blocks of iron redstone torches uh, light grey carpet or snow or whatever you want it needs to be whitish in the modern city texture pack i use um the light grey because it doesn't uh cause the kind of thing in the middle which the white carpet does and also string to hold it up I'm not sure if we'll get there but um, hopefully we will so this will either this bit will either be divided into one or two parts so what we're gonna do is come to the front and on the inside of all of this all the way back up to this part here we're going to place black wool on the insides and that will give us the base for our glass which we'll get to eventually but now we're going to come to the front and where you've got your three here what you're going to do is you're going to build four sets of seven going up one well seven up here and go back seven again I'm going to do that four times so three, five, six, seven. I've already built half of it just so that I kind of know what we're doing um, so if you want to start like pausing if I jump ahead or whatever do so But what you're gonna do is four sets of seven like I say uh, Then after that one set of six and then one set of seven and Then we're gonna get a pattern going here of where we'll do Five sets of them and then one set of another and whatever um, So after that one what you are gonna do is five sets of six so one, two, three, four, five. After that, five sets of six there. What we're gonna do is one set of five, and then one set of six. And then after that set of six, you're gonna go up by five, five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll just go back over what we've done so far in case I did lose anyone. So at the bottom we have four sets of seven um, and then one set of six after that. Another one set of seven, five sets of six, one set of five, one set of six, five sets of five. And I think that's where we are right now. We should have one, yeah. We're doing one set of four and then one set of five. And then after that, what we're gonna do is five sets of four. So do that a few times. And then one set of three, followed by one set of four. Um, and then we'll do five sets of three. Just like so. And then here we do two sets of two. Uh, one set of three. Uh, after that we're gonna do three sets of two uh, go up by one on the inside and then a two and then go back by seven like this and then you should have that seven block here so the roof should be if I get rid of it where you've got this bit which should have from the last video what I'm gonna do is fill it all in like this and then fill it in again so that should be your roof and then we'll come to this block here and we're going to break it and then underneath we are going to place a 3x3 three three blocks of iron like so and you can get rid of your iron block now and replace that with a beacon so like that and it's not working <laughs> there you go so now we have the beacon at the top which is the main, well, one of the main features of the building. And now, if you've done all this, 
will drop to the bottom and continue. So hopefully I didn't go too fast there. Uh, I can, but I'll probably paste the instructions for the bend in the description. I'm not sure because I might have gone a bit fast. I'm sorry if I did. So what we're gonna do now is come to this black bit here and what we should have is you should have gone with all your black wall, uh, black wall blocks or whatever you want to use on the inside of these and what you might want to do now is take the time to pause the video and go up three and then place three blocks on the inside of your curve that goes all the way to the top of the building and the reason for that is because every three blocks we're going to do a new one so if you pause the video and do that you can do that or you can just continue with the build as we do it so what we're going to do is for the ground we've done that so now if i get my marker just so i don't lose where we are when we're doing it floor one we're going to go back four sets of one three four and then three sets of two, so two, another two, and then, oh, another two. And this is why I think it will take some time to do this bit because I'll probably go off on a tangent. And then after this bit, a four, so yeah, four, and then a, another four after that. And that should bring you to this block here. Uh, so what some of these will do is I'll show you quickly on this side of the building they'll they won't match up to the white but that's fine because what you can do is come behind them and just place some snow blocks or whatever to kind of attach them to the building itself so that solves that problem when you get to it and you wonder what to do uh, so if we come back to the side we'll do the exact same figure again floor two so four sets of one four oh two wait three sets of two two three and then a four oh wait it's actually different um four and then a three and that should connect you straight up to the building and then we go to four three uh, four three <laughs> uh we'll have four ones again like this three twos you see a little pattern starting to form and that stays uh, with us for the next few floors uh, and then two fours after those uh, three twos that you just put down and that should bring you to the back of this block here which should be about 12 high uh, so if we come back to the front again now we'll do floor four and that is effectively the same thing as floor two. So four ones like this. Did I do three or four? Four. Um, three twos like so. A four and then a three. And this should bring you back to here. Like I say, you're going to have a gap of about one or two blocks in some places it's fine just get your snow or white wool whatever you've used and pull it up like that uh, but make sure that you drop it back when this area drops back so that you don't ruin the design of the back of the building so if we go back over to the front we'll start floor five just take a drink there um, so once again four fours well four ones not four fours don't want to confuse you uh, I'm out of confusion in the last video anyway that was a strange video three twos um, like that and then a four again and then another four after that you see that we keep that pattern of the slow drop back and then as the building starts to go further back and this matches with it uh, will squeeze tight. So if we go over to floor six now, we should have four ones again, like this. Three twos, like so. A four, 
and then a three. I need to make sure I'm doing it right so I don't lose you guys. So floor seven, what we're going to do is four ones again, so four, and then three twos, and then two fours after the three twos that you do. So we'd get our three twos in there, and then two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Right, so now we move on to floor eight. And I'll show you how to do a, well, I'll probably do one floor with you, with the glazing, because you get the general gist after that. So, uh, four ones again. Nice and easy with this one. Um, three twos. Like so, uh, and then two fours. I'm just making sure that I've got it on the right floor. <laughs> like I say, I don't want to randomly go to the wrong floor. So floor nine, what we're gonna do is four fours again, three twos after that, and a four after that one. So we get our three twos, make sure I don't jump ahead of you guys. And then our four after the three twos and a three, which should bring you just one in front of that. And then we'll move on to floor 10. We're moving quite quickly through these. I thought it might take us a while. I also sorted out the daylight thing so that uh, I don't have to keep sleeping. It turned out I didn't have those privileges on. I thought I did, but anyway, this way it changes, so instead of four ones, now what we can do is have two ones, and instead of three twos, we're going to have four twos, so I'll fly above it slightly, so instead of four ones, two ones, and instead of three twos, four twos, and then two fours like, well kind of like normal, we can alternate between four and three, and the four and the four, uh, and that should bring you up to that one. Uh, and then we go to floor 11, which will be two ones again, followed by four twos, and then two fours after your four twos. Three, four, two, three, four. Uh, and that will bring you to one block behind the one below. Uh, what you should be noticing is that if you're on the same level here, you should be keeping at the same level at the end, but if you're moving back a level, you'll fall about one block behind it, uh, which is what we try and aim for. Um, and after that, we'll move on to floor 12, so two ones again, and four twos, same pattern again, really. And then after our four twos, we will have a... Four, three, four, and a three. So hopefully you're not watching me and you're listening to my instructions because I'm probably building a bit fast. Like I say, I'm still a bit of a noob in tutorial ways. So that's the first 12 floors. Um, I'll change my sheet over, so I've got it. On the 13th floor, what we're gonna do is have two ones again. Four twos and then two fours. It's nice and simple, and you'll see that the building's squeezing in a bit. So after the, two, uh, the four twos, we have two fours, three four, and when we walk to floor fourteen, I didn't have my marker on it then. That could have been bad. Uh, floor fourteen is exactly the same with two ones. Like so, uh, four twos, just like this, two fours, and then we can move on to floor 15, which instead of a four at the end has a three. So two ones again, four twos, just like this. Uh, another one, and then a four, three, four, 
and A3. You see, because it's at the same one here, it brings it to the same level. So if we move now up to floor 16, we should have two ones. This pattern breaks away in a second, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, so two ones, four twos, same old, same old, uh, and then two fours, and that should bring you just, I think it should be either the same or one behind it, three, four, one behind it, it was three there right, yeah, um, so floor 17, you should have two ones again, and four twos, And then after that, two fours like normal. Three, four. Two, three, four. Uh, floor 18. This is the last floor where we have two ones. So two ones, um, four twos, a four, and a three. So four twos here. A four and a three. So, like I say, the building uh, you'll fall away from it a bit. So this is what we should have it looking like right now. We're actually about what about halfway maybe? Yeah, we're about halfway. I thought we'd it'd take us a lot longer than this to get all this done, but no, we're doing quite well. We're probably finishing this part. Um, so this is what we should have right now, and we'll move on to floor nineteen now. So if we come back up to where we are, floor 19, what we're going to have is five twos instead of four twos. So one, two, three, four, five, and then two fours. So instead of the two ones, what we're going to have at the front is a two. And then floor 20 is exactly the same, five twos. And the reason for that is because it's on the same level, connected to the same bit at the front. Uh, so we have our five twos, like this, and two fours. I'm just going to take a bit of swiftness because I can't build for some reason if I haven't got swiftness on. I think it's just something that I made happen. You get used to swiftness for so long, you, like, you can't work without it. So 21. Um, we're going to do five twos again, and then two fours afterwards. So two, three, four, five, and then two fours. Like so. And floor 22 is five twos again. So one, two, three, four, five, and a four, two, three, four, and a three. Should bring you to the same place as that one. So floor 23, we're going to have five twos and two fours. So I'll put that on the wrong side. Two, 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 one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Uh, and then, like I say, two fours after your two five, I mean, five twos. <laughs> uh, and that should bring you to the same level as this drop off here. Um, after that one, we got floor 24, which is exactly the same. So, five twos, two, two, Another two, another two, and then another two, and then two fours after those five twos, just like so. Three, four, and floor twenty-five is once again the same. This is the last level where we have our five twos. So five twos. We'll drop back again. Yep. Yeah. Three, four. Five, and then two fours after that. 
and that should bring you one behind and drop you off at that level there. Uh, so floor 26 is a little bit different. Instead of having our twos, because we go in a little bit there, what we're going to do is we're going to have two threes. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, followed by two twos. Two. Two. And two fours. A lot of numbers. And that should bring you to this level here, top of it. Uh, so floor 27 is the same so if we come over here we have two threes two three two three uh two twos and I do two or one uh and two fours one two three four two oh god damn <laughs> four uh and floor twenty eight what we're gonna have is Effectively the same, so two threes, two three, two twos, a four, two three, four, and a three instead of a four this time. So I'll bring you to the same place, but it'll drop you back. Um, so floor 29, what we're going to do is two threes, two twos, and then two fours. So two threes. Three. Run out swiftness. Swiftness is really good because it shows me how long I'm actually taking to build. Which isn't that long actually. Uh, we're running at about 22 minutes probably here. Um, so yeah, so you got your two threes, two twos, and then two fours. Three, four. Two, three, four. And that should bring you to that level there. Let me quickly change page. Uh, so we're on floor 30 now and what we're going to do for this is come to our point and we're going to go out and go back two threes, two twos and two fours like normal well this bit's normal anyway um, two three four one two three four and that should bring you onto the top of this one here uh, unfortunately, it's difficult to make the building look good if you just drag these all the way back and stuff. It makes it a bit too thin and the glazing doesn't work. Uh, so, some of these floors will end up on top of these. Uh, so, the next one will be there as well. Um, so, floor 31, I think is where we're at now. Um, two threes. Two twos. Uh, and then two fours. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. There you go, you connect to that one. Uh, so floor 32, it's a little bit different now. We're going to start to squeeze in a bit to try and get the glazing to work at the same time. So two threes, just like that. Uh, a four, two, three, four followed by a two and then a six so two three four five six will bring you to the top of that one as well uh, so floor 33 what we're going to do is exactly the same again with two threes uh, like that followed by a four two, three four followed by a two and then a six so two three four five six now do that, which is fine. By what swings? Yep. Uh, floor 34 will be two threes, a four, a two, and a six. So two threes here, a four, two, and once again a six. And that should bring you to that one there. So floor 35. Instead of a six this time at the end, we're going to have a five. So two threes, like so. And then a four, two, three, four, a two, and a five. And that, once again, should bring you to 
this bit here and I think that stays the same all the way up the building uh, providing that you actually were able to follow the last video so floor 36 we're gonna have two threes we're gonna have a four another two and a five and yeah that should bring you on top of this one here which I've never really liked but that's how the building is so yeah <laughs> and I don't think I tried to fix that I think uh, but I couldn't really do it so floor 37 we're gonna have two threes a four and a six I'm just gonna drink some potion of swiftness quick so two threes so four four and a six people six uh, floor 38 we only have six more floors after this uh, so a three another three a four and a six which should bring you to that one again uh, so floor 39 what we're going to do is two threes and two fours and the next floor will be our um, helicopter pad floor so I think I'll take an interval there to maybe do that because it will be quicker and that should connect to that so for floor 40 which is where your helipad's going to be um, you've got two threes Uh, a four after the two threes, four and a three at the end. So two threes, a four and a three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to follow this line round and we're going to place a nine going across at the back, straight at the back of this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a ten going back. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, and just draw a square using that and fill it in like this. And at this height, you'll probably lag a little bit. I know I do a bit. Um, and what we can do now is uh, get rid. Well, actually, we can get some glowstone out and on the corners place glowstone. Um, like that and then one here as well uh, what you're going to do now is get your light grey carpet or white carpet and just run it on the outside like this uh, you can put it over the glowstone if you want to but I haven't um, and then you're going to come to here and just open this three by three and what you can do is get some glass panes and put them on sides like that obviously the helipad's optional you don't have to do it but it is one of the main features of the building and then get a button and place it on the right of the door like that now go into your carpets and get a green carpet and just fill in the entire helipad like this. I'm trying to do this bit from memory, so I might be doing this wrong, I'm not sure. Um, and what we're going to do now is get rid of our green carpet and find a yellow carpet. And let's see, is that like that? Three in the middle. Let's try it. It doesn't really matter. You can play around with the helipad. Uh, go up like this. Find your middle. I haven't, yeah, I haven't done it right. So with this actually, when you light grey carpet or white carpet here, and I'll change that in a second, and in the middle, put your green carpet and whatnot. So your helipad should look like that. So your grey carpet on the sides with green in the middle and a one gap block here. Um, and your helipad in the middle. You might 
want to like squeeze it in, do what you want with it. Um, and this would be a corporate walk-in. So the my building on my city is for the government, and if yours is for a government or whatever, you'd just uh, have the helicopters landing here. Um, so what we're going to do now is the ring running on the outside, which is, uh, if I do it from this way, we come from our glowstone block and we go one, one across again, uh, and we should connect to this white block here, and if we go one, one, and four here, three, four, so we're following this line, and this works as a little connection part, and then we come on the inside, and we do a, another four, followed by a three, another three, a two, and a one, and then what you should have is a gap of one with your three running on the outside like that, with a one in the middle to work as a connector pad, and that is your helipad. Put some uh, redstone torches on those and they'll look as if they are kind of like emergency lights or whatever if the power goes out and that's your shape for the building obviously it looks really nice in my opinion um, so we'll continue with the floors hopefully you've done the helipad and stuff and we can move on so we're at floor 41 here uh, which is just three fours so one four that was three um, so three fours like this and this should see you connecting to the top of that one there and we'll come up to floor 42 which is two fours and a two and um, these floors above what I call the executive landing pad or whatever you want to call it you can use these as um, server rooms because it's not big enough to put in uh, any kind of natural like room or whatever so that's why the be uh, the beacons up here and you can just like have a ladder going up with some kind of maintenance stuff on these floors uh, which I think I showed on my showcase one I'm not entirely sure so um, should be on 43 here second to last floor we're gonna have a three so two three and a five so two three four five and then the last floor which is floor 44 uh, which isn't actually operational obviously because you've got your beacon and whatnot uh, we're going to do a three and a two now that is basically the tower we've only got one small thing to do and then we can end the video so what we're going to do now is get some glass panes uh, we can throw away everything else apart from the spider string and uh, your light grey or white carpet. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop all the way to the bottom of the building. Uh, I'm not going to do the logo because the logo is for my world. You can put whatever logo you want on the building like big R or whatever. Uh, so what you can do now is put your blocks on these like you did gather um, and the reason for them being one in is which you'll see in a second and you should put them three all the way up like this on these uh, so what we do now is layer these too high up and you'll get the idea of what to do for the entire building with this oh wait it's not worked here uh, so where the floors go on the inside this is the bottom so if I go up to a floor where we probably drop back a bit it's this one I want a good one we'll, we'll choose a good one to do uh, so if you come across a floor that drops back you're gonna lay them up two and then what you can do from there is on the third block place it by dropping down onto the block below so you should be here like this and you'll be on the inside and that's how that works and you can do that all the way up the building so work with too high and then drop back um, and that's effectively the glass panes or well the glass blocks don't use glass panes because it won't work 
Um, I haven't tried stained glass because I'm not on the computer. Um, so if you are on a computer, you can try them. But what I'm going to do is, if you come back to the bottom of the building, um, we're going to get our string and place it on the glass, the top glass bits. And every floor is going to be like this, apart from the one where you have the helipad ring running around. And then we're going to outline the building with some light white or whatever wool carpet things. So that is the building itself. So if you do that on every floor, all the way up, you'll have the white pattern. So if you're far away looking at the building like this, it will be black and white. But if you're underneath the building looking up, it will be all white. Uh, put the glazing in, put your floors and lights in, stairwells, whatever, and the building will look really nice in your cities. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I have been Plixton. Please rate and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Saturday for the next showcase where we'll be back in the airport. And next Tuesday, you can, well, for next Wednesday, sorry, you can post your ideas for tutorials on whatever you want next. Otherwise, I'll just choose one to do. But I'm hoping you'll, you found this tutorial easy to follow, or well, somewhat easy. Obviously, part one was a bit more difficult than this one. Um, so please rate and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!